Hello family and thank you for coming back to the channel and we got another salacious story Yes, yes, yes We're gonna talk about Dennis McKinley and him possibly getting his own show And who might be a part of that show, okay? It's scandalous and marvelous Yes, don't be telling my business why I'm telling my business because I can and uh, I can can and I can can and I, I, I will. Okay, gonna get on right on into it because all of this allegedly, <laughs> but it may be true. What if Bravo gave Dennis his own show and the whole show's premises would be on him? bringing guests on his show that you would never imagine that will appear on the show to bring some different perspectives on Portia Williams and Simon Gambadia's relationship and how it really transpired. Now you know Dennis knows the T, you know he do. And you know in his heart of hearts he want to get Portia back for some of this negative press she been trying to give him lately and probably doing the taping of her show trying to make him seem unfit un uh manageable don't want to pay child support and all of these things and you know and of course the cheating scandal he did on her that she never wants to remember now we got that man right there you know he was married to Fallon Made a sign of prenup and everything. But little did he know. <laughs> the assistant that she was calling her best friend. And maybe she even poised or posed to Simon that that was her gay best friend. So Simon didn't know no better. He wasn't even the wiser of anything. But as you can see, they got divorced. Okay, but was it before? Was it a clean divorce? Where no infidelity was going on until they got divorced, meaning him and Fallon, before he started messing with Portia. Now, he's supposed to be this jet setter, this rich guy that has all these cars, the houses, the looks, the money, the money, the money. Is the only reason why he got Fallon and Portia, you know, to even look his way. But, like I said, he couldn't keep a hold of Fallon and all her beauty and stuff. So, he had to hook up with the next best thing. Which, yeah, Portia, you was a second choice. And why Lauren is in the middle of all this, I don't know. But, she might be a guest star on Mr. Dennis's show, too. Along with his mother, caregiver of his child. You know what I'm saying? Because he needs that backup, that solid backup that he can damn sure trust. Because, right now, he's claiming he is single as fuck okay and he's gonna live his best life and he's gonna get his groove back with whomever however he choose to do it with and lord knows it might be kenya moore because she's single too and ready to mingle who knows but there's some stories to be told and he knows a little bit about this situation between Fallon and Jalen because Portia probably was trying to get him a little earful offset but he even knew himself that you know baby girl you're moving a little too fast hell you just left me you just left me um and last December you know trying to make it do what it do uh, before 21 came in we were just hitting them sheets in December 2020 now you want to act like everything is cold and forgotten about and is that the same darn suit that he be on the plane with Porsche on I don't know but he goes along and say Fallon cheated on him and, and it was before the divorce and all like that and then he was trying to say that that baby could have been healed. So that's what he wanted to say. And he probably was thinking that it was. But from my understanding he was shooting blanks. So no baby Emma couldn't have been healed. And damn I'm so glad it wasn't healed. Because ah, the beauty just wouldn't have been there. But that's picture perfect right there. That's a pretty pretty bronze baby. So yeah he probably thought it was. Until he saw the pictures that Emma. I mean uh, Jalen and um, Fallon released. Okay. 
But they had to get paid to get those pictures released, I'm sure. And I probably would have did the same thing if I was a millionaire. Or, you know, wanted to stay in that millionaire frame. You're going to pay me for whatever you want to know about me. But wasn't it the same picture, in a sense, similar to what Portia was calling herself right next to Gabadio, trying to flaunt like he got that, that's his real jet. Well, he probably was just paying a fee to be seen on it. <laughs> or hell, Bravo could have been paying a fee. And these are two... Uh, two of uh, Fallon's three children that Simon had called himself adopting or wanted to adopt them or whatever and he was treating them like it was his own but now from what Fallon and Jayla say he don't even mess with them don't call them don't send them nothing for Christmas for Thanksgiving for Easter or hell just to put something in their bank account he don't forget about them now what if he get cl uh, close to Dennis's uh, daughter and do her the same way when shit ain't working out. Wouldn't that be tragic for the child? Wouldn't that be messing with their mentality? And see, that's what big man trying to stop. He's a like, uh-uh. It's me in Detroit versus everything else. And you ain't getting in my way. And he tired of uh, Portia playing him to the left. Like, she don't understand this philosophy that he is the only dad that PJ needs. So, he has to enlist other people to come in and help him. And probably help him out with his case that he's going to be getting into with some legal stuff he's going to meet Portia in court with. Okay, because he's tired of her saying she's single this, she's single that, and got paychecks, okay? We don't know if she still got her paychecks from Atlanta, Real Housewives of Atlanta, but we damn sure know she ain't got it from this nation. Now, is it plausible she may be able to go back? I'm not sure, but Dennis ain't worried about that. He said, you worry about your man. You worry about what you're trying to get from that Nigerian man since you think he's all that and, and a piece of cake. Okay, you, you you go on over there and drop and play with that Hennessy looking man over there. Y'all go on and drink that brown liquor because right now I'm drinking something else and it's called getting my daughter together with me. And if we have to co parent, meaning you be a uh, half uh, parental parent and I be half parental parent, but I'm done with this shit. You talking about she mine, she mine, she mine, and then when you go and tracing off to God knows where with that old man. Now you busted, baby. You done left my child alone and probably in some very dangerous situations. Hell, as far as I know, his older kids was keeping her, meaning PJ. And while y'all was out flaunting and gallivanting uh, in Costa Rica going to clubs and stuff like that, she's supposed to have a real babysitter. But y'all was sitting over there letting the bigger kids mess with her. And I don't know nothing about them kids. You know, you can't leave kids alone for too long because they might want to do some strange things. You know what I'm saying? To be experimenting. And that could have been a plausible idea why he's mad. And he's like, uh-uh. That ain't never, ever supposed to happen. You know how the world is today. And then when you're trying to go somewhere, you want your mama to keep her. When my mama him, and then I'm getting off from the restaurant early because you done made me aware at the last moment that you had to go out of uh, the country or whatever and baby pj sitting up there with your grandmama you know your grandmama old just like my mama and they need some time to themselves and for us i know she got a man or half of a man or some kind of man but he's staying over there at y'all house uh, he would there with us for christmas in 2020 okay sitting on the steps taking pictures with me my mama pj and you so where he going and i don't know i can't too much trust him either because y'all whole family ain't kosher you know, I got questions, and I need answers, hell. We were just playing in the sheets, having babies, and or having a baby, and trying to do what it make it do. But then you had to go get all crazy on me. when you knew I was uh, definitely back. I was a bachelor, trying to live that bachelor life. And trying to have you in the midst, because, you know, you don't mess with no broke men. And, yeah, I messed up and said I wanted a baby by you, or we could make it happen. And it happened. But I ain't dumb. I ain't stuck on stupid. And I showed one rage last night. Okay. Forget the bowing part. So yeah. It's it, it's it's going to work into a good situation. If Bravo give uh, Dennis his own show. And he brings Fallon and Jalen in. You know they might meet at his crew lounge or whatever. Well hell they, they might go on a date. And he might be showing up with Kenya Moore. 
you know, just having a night out with friends and just want to share stories on Miss Portia Williams and what do y'all know about her? Because I may need all this stuff for court. Because <laughs> you know Portia don't mess with no broke, broke, broke eagles, okay? And my Kanye voice, no, she likes that rich, famous lifestyle. And, you know, she's living a little modest little thing now. But I don't know what she done got with Simon Gobadia. And that's the trippy part about it. Now, Simon gave Fallon, his ex-wife, plane trips, bought her cars, uh, dressed her nice fine stuff. Always took her out to nice eateries, even though he wasn't doing nothing. And she, I don't think she had too much money to be sharing with him. So, he kind of set her up. For her to do the okie doke on him and leave and share her life with a much younger man, more to her age group. And they're living their best life with her three boys and her new baby girl, Emma. And if life be told, she'll probably have a few more. But what better, what better person to bring into the fold would be Kenya Moore. You know, she got on Dancing with the Stars so it wouldn't be too plausible. He would go and hook her up and ask her to come guest appear on his show, okay? And break bread and have a little wine here and there and talks and shoots the shits about Portia Williams because he don't know everything about her you know he only know the intimate detail parts and the little things they wanted to share and probably Portia got to drinking too much and told him a little bit too much about the comings and goings of her family and some of the friends on the show of the Real Housewives of Atlanta and he only got one perspective but now he probably trying to get all that perspectiveness from Miss Kenya. Because she knows how to spin a true tale when she needs to. She good at saying, I don't know who that is. And be knowing exactly who you talking about. <laughs> and she says it with a straight face. Now, evidently, they was on the same show. Because that background looking kind of familiar. Even in Kenya's post or picture. All right. But Dennis is fed up. He tired. He wants to be shown in a better light than what Portia's trying to give him. They probably started off as teammates, but as they went along, he saw now nah, this girl is trying to come up on another whole level. All right, she want me, and if she can't have me, she gonna go get somebody who she really feels is rolling in the dough. But little did she know, she got tricked and uh, traded out of her position. And that's why she's not on the Real Housewives of Atlanta. And as you can see, Kenya laughing her ass off. Because she don't even know she got played to the left. To the left, to the left. In my Beyonce voice, alright. And we know Kenya don't have a problem with coming in between people's marriages. Even if it's just to put a wedge there. For temporarily means. Not that she trying to slide in and get Mr. Dennis. Because Dennis is not her taste, okay. And Simon Gabardia is definitely not her taste. Anything she wants something a little younger than her or same age and fine as hell, okay? But, um, because we do see her soon to be ex husband Ma, he is very easy on the eyes, even though he kind of seems a little suspect, you know what I'm saying? That's a little bit, um, and that's just the way it is, but you know, she like the man, she's gonna try to keep the man as clean as possible as she possibly can because she could have dogged him out a lot worse. But we knew she helped him out financially because she has some secrets that she don't want to be exposed either. That's why she don't slay the man in public too much. You know, he tr she tries to say she gave it all. He just didn't appreciate her and things of that nature. But it don't really go too more, too too farther than that. You know what I'm saying? She ain't finna bash the man because she know she messing with somebody that would get her behind in trouble. And he would drop some receipts on her that we probably wanted to know about. But it was never going to come out. Alright, but that's Miss Thoughtland here. And as we can see, Portia wanted to make extra scenes or, or more confessional scenes by what the Jasmine brand is saying. And she's not the only one. There's other outlets out there that uh, Portia was going around here trying to do damage control. Because Dennis was definitely serving himself up. And you see that's him starting his cognac brand. Yes, if you didn't know, he's a cognac connoisseur as well as a seller. So he has his hands in a lot of wealth, a lot of money. 
uh, projects that he's definitely invented for himself and instilled in his portfolio. So I don't know, Portia may have missed the boat. I ain't getting called it all the way totally out if she changed her behavior because they do have their one and only child together. Neither one of one have had children before. I mean, Portia did, but I think she had a miscarriage on abortion. I can't re really be certain on which one. But they do have a child together. And, um, you know, like I said, Dennis ain't going to let nobody make no fool out of him. And Simon, damn sure lame. But she had a little bit more push power with Dennis. And thanks for the Jasmine brand for letting me share this picture out. Um, of what I was talking about, about Portia's at odds with Dennis because... She's saying some unflattering things that's supposed to come out. And as I thought I would be seeing it last Sunday, they held it over because of the holidays. And I guess they want to get a new spin in for the new year to try to take the ratings a little further over. But it must be something detrimental that is going to be said or shown. And Portia tried to get her little spin on it. Uh trying to say Dennis did this, Dennis did that, as she did on her whole season of her show, Portia Family Matters. It was never, I take responsibility of this, this was my fault, and, and we're working through it, or this, that, you know, no accountability on her part, no showmanship. It was just that pointed at Dennis, he did everything wrong, and that's why they're here where they are now, okay? And um, Simon is just, you know, toying with both of them. And he's feeding Portia a lot of hate. And she's going in on him. And then when, he's, when she says something that he don't like on camera. He definitely gets her straightened out. Either right then and there. Or he'll wait. Which he really does wait. Until he gets in his confessionals. And then he tears her down. So I'm pretty sure she saw the full scheme of what was said. By everybody that she had on the show. Uh, for this season and she's seeing that yeah bravo didn't edit out anything and i wasn't planning on editing out anything they wanted portia to present them a show she said what she could do and it probably was somewhat boring until they caught some uh off scenes that they probably didn't even know they were catching Meaning the family members. They probably just running their, you know, miles and this, that, and that. And they were like, okay, we can edit this to look like they said it when they were taping. But we can use it anyway. Because they wouldn't make no, never mind. And they won't see it until the end. But Simon bought her that beautiful car. Don't know if it's a Rolls Royce or not. But he was flossing. Don't know if she still got it or not. With the separation or the divorce of everything. But if he clean cut, bought it for Put it in her name. That's her shit. I ain't never seen Portia get a car from Simon and she's rolling around in it. I see her rolling around on the passenger side on uh when he's driving. But, you know, nothing. And she's up there enjoying herself on his plane, rented plane. And this nut didn't even know. I guess like I said, she played him like he was gay or something to give him that, you know, viewpoint that why you need a male assistant and a gorgeous one at that one? Now, I don't th I don't like that. I don't think we need to have that. But that was her assistant. Uh, like I said, Fallon must have lied and said he was gay. And that was her best friend. And she wanted him. And he paid for it. And why she needed an assistant, I have no idea. I don't really know what Fallon does. Uh, to tell you the truth, if she was a model, I'm thinking I heard... You know, she was a beautiful model. But see, that's that uh, Rose Royce that they say Simon's cousin about Portia. You see what I'm saying? She's going through the whole damn family. If, in fact, that's true. But I'm going to say allegedly over here. Because I didn't really hear it from the horse's mouth or whatnot. But, yeah, Portia got around, running around in his cousin's Rose Royce. Uh, he bought her. And he, buy, or he has bought Fallon that beautiful blue one. So, I'm like, damn. He got, he pushed Fallon in a nice house. Uh, was living in a house in Costa Rica. Renting out a house. I don't know if that's the same house that Fallon was a part of. That Portia calls herself. Uh, relaxing and, and, and uh, tracing around in it. When she was uh, taping the show. And trying to make him seem like he had all of this stuff. When it seems like it was all leased. You know for the show's purpose. But yeah. He let family be a part of his life or what. 
Fallon said was really fictitious, but she lived a life with him because things were getting paid monthly, so she didn't really care too hell of a shit still anyway. But, um, yeah, he was supposed to be taking care of and then adopting me and Simon Gabadia, those three boys, but he just left them high and dry when Fallon left and went out the door, got impregnated, uh, made a sham out of Simon, and he was on social media trying to blast her out and this, that, and the third. But, yeah, that's what I heard, Portia. Show ratings. We know it's hit a nosedive. Dennis posted Kenya on his IG. So, like I said, is it too far fetched that he's reaching out to Kenya and possibly going to, if he gets that show, bring her in as one of his co stars? And they be tracing around Atlanta together just to make Portia mad. You know what I'm saying? It ain't nothing big going on. But if she want to drop them draws for him, I'm pretty sure he will proceed up on, on up in them. You know what I'm saying? By her little fur here and there. Uh, <laughs> just to um, put it in Portia's back a little bit more. Since Portia wants to play, or I should say not want to play fair in the playing field, on the playground. So, yeah, Dennis got a lot of surprises for 2022. And I am here for him. Ready to ride like four flat tires. Because I know he wouldn't do her as mean as Portia is trying to do him on this Family Matters thing about being jealous. Because she's bringing somebody on the show. But she can hang all up with Dennis and Florence and, and be around him and him hugging her and all like this. And she don't think Dennis may have some residue feelings floating around for her still. You know what I'm saying? That he ain't totally buried and she's supposed to flaunt him in front of his face but he can't bring nobody and i'm like that's right dennis go on and bring you one of your piece of work you know whether they good looking or ugly or whatever it don't matter you 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 showcasing them and you <coughs> entertaining them and you definitely gonna get some work out of them regardless okay but you ain't gonna let Porsche show you up and i'm glad you did what you had to do and make it do what it had to do and bring you some work in and play her little games too. Because I'm sure the women that you're messing with, they know you a little, I ain't going to say gigolo. Because you pretty much tell them what it is. You just want to have a little fun. You want to spend some more time with them. And if anything happens, you know, it happens. You know how they say whatever's uh, done in Vegas stays in Vegas. Okay. But, uh, you know. Portia has to be dealt with and however you feel you need to deal with it deal with it cautiously because that is your mother that is the mother of your child and if both of y'all really do have unresolved feelings for each other that just don't seem to go away when y'all see each other uh, y'all really need to stop playing and go on and get it serious and go to counseling and take that serious and just see how it goes you know, because I know your plan of action is to get this man out your daughter's life. Because like I said, he just looks too, you know, crazy. Now, if he was a loving family and he was trustworthy, wouldn't you have put the baby in between both of you all loving on her? And it's showing that it is something that's true, you know. You would put the baby in front of y'all. I mean, in the middle of y'all, not Portia got her all on one side to her because she done caught on speculation that we know something ain't right with uh, Mr. Gabadia. I mean, Fallon ain't going to be lying on him like that, okay? And your sister don't even like him. Not really. she rather see you and Dennis back together. And I don't know if it's because of his age thing or whatnot, but she just can't get with um, um. Uh, good body behind because she probably see how he treat his real kids and what his real kids have said about him you know they probably didn't know who uh lauren was she just could have been some housekeeper she could have been something you know what i'm saying until they really figured out who she was but they had already said what they had to say in front of her and they probably didn't care if she went back and told their dad or not you know because kids they they funny they eccentric sometimes they be saying stuff and you be catching an eager fool and you be like, damn, you know, I didn't know that was happening. Because kids ain't going to lie too much. They'll lie just to get what they want. But if they talk with their other friends and stuff, they probably be telling their truth. They truth of what they feel about the situation. And it probably ain't that good. They don't want poor just no uh, stepmom, okay? Because she's she sitting up there acting like, you know, a kid like them. 
and she got a kid to raise. And the only person that seemed like they're raising the child is Miss Gina and Miss um, Diane. And Dennis and uh, Portia doing whatever they want to do. Whenever they want to do it. And then they want to come back and play mom and dad in separate houses. And when they ain't happy, they going at each other. And so it is a, a complete mess. But that's all I had to say, y'all. What did y'all think about that lineup for Dennis' new show? Having Kenya over there, okay? Then having uh, tea time or beer time or wine time or hell, just going out time with the fun-loving couple Jalen and uh, Fallon and, and Dish and Dirt, you know, trading notes on the situation. Who knows? You might have another guest stock them up in there, too, that want to tell on Portia, like some of her ex lovers, okay. <laughs> Y'all remember the one that she wanted to, uh, what did she want to do? She wanted him to sign some kind of contract, uh, a prenup. I think she wanted a prenup on somebody. And that boy, like, I ain't finna, I ain't, I ain't trying to be nobody's baby daddy. And he, I, no, I, I just can't do it. We can't do I can't donate the sperm. I can't do none of that. We can't impregnate you the way you want it to be done. Because I got to feel the love. I got to feel the desire to want to be in your life for more than six months. Okay. So it was something. I can't really remember. the, But the one she snuck in her house. Or uh, her mother's house. Uh, to possibly have sex or whatnot, Which it still didn't work out. Because Portia said she ain't going to do it. She ain't going to do it in her mama's house. Or something to that effect. I don't forgot shit. But anyway, it just is what it is. I thought I would share that with y'all and ask y'all, do y'all think that would be a good lineup to see? Because it just may happen. Even though it's allegedly right now. But shoot, it might come to fruition. We don't know what Dennis got up his sleeve. And if Bravo don't have to use too many new people to come in. And they can use, like they say, reuse props and people. To make another show come into view or reality, they there for it. <laughs> it ain't gonna cost them that much. And then it's a business man. He gonna say we don't need all that because since it's my show, I want to keep it as simple as possible. Cause simplicity is the key. You know, more. I mean, less is more. Okay, more for us to dive into. More of us to give him, give us his Detroit lifestyle and how he get down and to show Portia who really wears the pants in this family and if she gonna get with it she need to calm down her mannerisms she need to calm down her idea of living this Hollywood lifestyle because it ain't about that and that's how you keep your money you be frugal you don't run all out here trying to show what you got how you got it who you being around you know, all this kind of stuff that we've known Portia to be like and behave like. So maybe Dennis can teach us something. Maybe he's trying to level up to be a responsible man, a one woman's man, and raise his daughter and, and get more children if he wanted to. But like I said, it's a trip and I'm here for it. And I hope it comes to fruition. And I hope it has this line up. Because, whoo, child, I'll be right there with my popcorn my chips or any other thing that's going to keep me rolling while I got my mouth dropped open. Okay. Because <laughs> that's one thing Dennis can do. And he done showed and proved uh, that he can do this on Portia's show. Because what was meant for her to have good ratings, people to show her likability, and us to get back to liking her the once the once way well, the, the way we once knew her when she first came on The Real Housewives of Atlanta that shit blew up in her face and Dennis McKenna became the face of Portia's show alright hell he was the face of Portia's uh, baby show they gave her so he's just good for television all together all the way around and Bravo is looking at them stats and who is liking and they're trying to figure out they've figured out on who the public is liking and they said shit he liked the tv he a businessman he liked the money let's proposition him and i'm thinking he thinking about it more so to where he's not thinking about it he don't put a much saw the numbers 
and they add up to coming close to what he want or he exceeded it, he gonna take that piece. <laughs> he gonna take that piece and run with it. And I'm like, okay. Porsche had her one run. Now we need to see his one run. His one run and see who outweighs who. And who would get that second season. But we gotta get Dennis to get his first season in first. And I'm all here for it, y'all. I'm all here for it. But that's all I had, guys. Y'all like, love this video. Make sure y'all, as y'all leaving the door, leaving the house, make sure you subscribe and make sure you share my videos. Now, if you're just coming into the home, once you ring that doorbell, you hit that like button. It's right beside one another. Okay? Ding dong. You see what I'm saying? Hit like button. Hit like button. Ding dong. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? All right, guys. Y'all be breezy. And I'll see y'all next video. Bye-bye.